go. Two, three. Good. Here we go. The Ketchum Indians are optimistic this year and for good reason. It's the first time in a long time that the Indians have had such a veteran squad. This is the type of group that only, you know, comes around every few years, at least here, um, where they're self-motivated. Mesh right now. I right, remember, open up the hip, come flat down the line, all right, outside handoff, and we're coming. Several players have seen three years and four years on varsity, and Coach Keevens feels it's now or never. You know, there's a long list of guys coming back. It's up to them to make plays this year and, and be the guys. There's no more, hey, they're young. You know, th that's over. Regardless of who we play, yeah, it's put up or shut up. Here. If we overstep, we lose balance and we lose power. Six inch, okay, clear, short, choppy steps. Here we go. And who they play will be the test for this veteran squad right out of the gate. Kevin Duke and the Indians are really going to be up against it. Their first game of the season is against the defending New York State championship team, Nourishell. I'm ecstatic about the st schedule. I wouldn't want it any other way. You want to open up with the best, and you have to beat the best to be the best, and that's what we want to do. We're excited about it. It's, I told my kids it's a, it's a one, no catch them football players ever had the opportunity to open up the season against the returning state champs. I mean, it's just, it doesn't come along. So we have an opportunity to do something great. As a four-year varsity player and the star signal caller, Duke has a target on his back. I don't, I don't really let that get to me. I mean, I know other guys on the team will make plays. I know everybody has each other's back on this team. If I go down, I know another guy will step in and they'll do just as good of a job. It's just I've, I've been here for four years and so that's, that's why my name is out there. There's a lot of guys that go under the, under the radar but will still do a hell of a job. Certainly Kevin is the guy, you know, number one on everybody's list that people want to talk about. And he's a tremendous player. And he's going to be the guy along with some of his peers that have also been up for three and four years that are going to, you know, make and break the season. Duke brings a lot of qualities to the team. He's a natural leader on and off the field, but the strengths of his game? In a football standpoint, it's probably passing. From a mental standpoint, it's probably just staying calm, trying to be a leader at all times, trying to set an example for the younger guys, and just trying to be a leader for everybody else on the team. Some could say last year's team had a stronger and more experienced line, and the key this year is to see how the defense holds up. I think you're going to see a group that uh, wants to win, okay, wants to be successful, takes this seriously, has, and has done everything uh, in their capability to make, make sure that happens. We're going to score points. We're going to give up less than we did last year, and, and hopefully at the end of the day that results in, in some wins.